Today is September 6, 2017. South Florida prepares for the arrival of Hurricane Irma. Uh, it seems like people are starting to go a little crazy. Gas stations are running out of gas. Shopping centers are running out of water. Everybody's just trying to grab whatever they can grab to prepare for the storm. Things are getting crazy. Running out of supplies. Hopefully they're, they're shipping things in, but I guess we're just all trying to get ready now for the storm. I don't even know. We're gonna keep setting them up, but uh, preparing for Hurricane Irma. Things are crazy down here in South Florida right now. Honestly, no water, no gas anywhere. The best we can do is just start prepping our houses. This peacock is a category five. Most definitely. They don't usually see. Oh my god! Did you see that? Yes. Don't make too much noise. So today is September 9th. And Saturday. Hurricane Irma. So you can see everybody has their shutters. Trying to stay entertained during a hurricane, right? Trying to stay entertained. We've been indoors for so long. Do a little hurricane fishing and product testing. And staying there committed. Look at it. I see it. Just persistence is key. I just got him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Peacock. Look at you that guys. huge fish, babe. Oh Look my at that huge god. Peacock. Oh my god. Oh. This is my biggest fish ever. Oh my god, you guys. Babe, hold the rod. That peacock hold the rod right is there. beautiful. This is the biggest fish I have ever caught, and it's on a Zagaya lure, baby. Zagaya lure and on the new Cast King Speed Demon. You guys ready for this? Oh my god. I can't even grab its mouth. It is so big. <laughs> oh my oh god, gosh. hurricane fishing right there for massive peacock bass in Miami, you guys. Oh my god. Look at that. Haul at your boy right there. That is the biggest fish peacock bass I have ever caught in Miami. I caught it on the Zagaya jerk bait. One of my go-to baits here. That is absolutely a stud. Look at Holy that fish. Crap. Next to my body. Oh my God. Massive fish. Get the scale. We got to weigh this guy. This is a PB right there. Look at that. Can oh I my take God. It? There. Oh my God, he is so strong. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, I need you to go so find the scale good. so fast. Okay. Get the pliers out of my pocket really quick. Get it unhooked. I'm going to hold it in the water. In the bottom pocket. Oh my god. This fish has to be seven pounds, if not bigger. Oh. Car. Unhook it for me. What? Okay, just, I'll tell you. I'm going to unhook it. Just put the rod down. Rod is down. Pliers. Give me the pliers. You go find, go find the, the scale. scale. And we're gonna send this bad boy back in the water. Biggest peacock bass I've ever caught. Fishing in Miami, you guys. Look at that stud. Check in my bag, it should be on the outside pockets. Stud peacock, is it still recording? The black camera bag, babe. Please hurry up, it should be on one of the outside pockets. I don't wanna keep this fish out too long. This is a trophy fish right here. Get that camera, hold it up. I'll take care of this. All right. For Paula scale coming on. Oh no, it's in kilograms. That's okay, we'll convert it. Okay. Three point five kilograms. Turn around. Three point five kilograms, guys. Oh Turn my god, around. that is a stud fish right there. <laughs> Three point five kilos. We're gonna get that converted into pounds. I caught it on a medium heavy rod with the Cast King Speed Demon. Today was the first day I got to take the rod out for testing, the reel out for testing. It's so fast and super smooth, but we're gonna get that peacock in the water. Let's get a release real quick. Watch the rod tip. I want to get more pictures. I gotta get in the bed. water. Forget it. I don't care. This is like worthy right here for an awesome 
Awesome picture. Oh my God, he's ready to go. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that fish. Hurricane Irma is right behind us. Show them the storm that's right behind us. Oh my God. You guys ready for a release? One last look at that beautiful pea. Come on, come closer. Get it from an angle. Oh my God, look at oh the God. shoulders on that fish. That is a monster fish. 3.5 kilos. He is so ready to go. He is so pissed. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. Guys, we are out here fishing in the elements. This storm took a swing west, so I said, forget it. I'm going to stay indoors, and there's no hurricane. It ain't going to happen. As you guys can tell, I'm just murmuring random things. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I am just blown away. I don't know how what 3.5 kilos converts to. You should look it up on your phone real should quick. Almost eight pounds. Almost eight pounds? Oh my God. If that's eight pounds, that is freaking crazy. I am going to fish every single hurricane from here on out. Oh my God. Yasmin is converting. 3.5 pounds. 7.72 pounds. You guys, oh my god, the biggest peacock I had ever caught before this was 6.15 pounds. Oh my god, Hurricane Irma fishing here by my grandfather's house. Stud peacock. I've seen three other ones. That one was committing to the bait, so I stayed on it. I've been here for like 30 minutes. It is crazy. I don't know if we're gonna get another fish, but I wanted to make sure I had the scale. I called my wife, she was back at home with the baby. I was like, bring the scale, bring my lure box. I am gonna catch this fish today hope you guys are safe stay indoors don't do this crazy shit that I'm doing but it was totally worth it if I catch another one you guys are here to see it but if not peace Woo! so we just got back to the house about 20 minutes ago there's a tornado warning that's been in effect all day but now it's getting a little more intense we got the intense bands of Hurricane Irma starting to hit us here in West Miami-Dade, all of Miami-Dade County, Broward County, Monroe County. Everybody's getting hit by it. This is a giant storm. I was so excited earlier, but guys, it is extremely dangerous to be out fishing during a hurricane. I do not suggest you do that at all. I just wanted to make sure I point that out. You know, I was going out in between bands, but there's no excuse. It's still extremely dangerous. You know, you just don't want to take a chance ever with something so big and listening to things now on the TV, it's definitely getting to the next level. So we're closing down the last shutters here in the house and we're gonna hunker down for the night. Pray to God that everything goes good and hopefully I'll catch you guys on another episode and hopefully you'll be able to see this episode. We'll see what happens. Stay safe everybody, love you guys. Tight lines, peace.